When I spoke with the mayor, he wanted to emphasize what the police department saying has in writing, that the actions this police officer took do not represent the standards of the department as a whole, and that's why they were ruled as outside of HPD policy. The statement says Internal Affairs reviewed three different angles of the incident, from body camera, store surveillance, and cell phone footage, to come up with their ruling. The mayor says the Internal Affairs in-depth investigation proves that their system is working. This shows that, that our system works. All right, and, you know, we took this to Internal Affairs. Internal Affairs went through all the video, talked to all the officers, talked to uh, use, use the store video, had everything in place. The case is now being looked over by the police chief for disciplinary review. The mayor says the department has 188,000 calls for service a year. They want all of them to be perfect, but that's not always the case. And the mayor says that's the reason why they have internal affairs to look over incidents such as this. Reporting live in Huntsville, Nicole Zedek, Way 31 News. Thanks, Nicole. The clock is ticking for the city of Huntsville administrator to submit a written action plan to two Huntsville city council members on how the city plans to respond to a review of the police department. The Huntsville Police Citizens Advisory Council released a review of the department's response to protests last summer. Council members Francis Acreage and Bill Kling asked for a detailed response for every recommendation in the report and results from them. The Rosa Parks Committee sent a letter to the Department of Justice asking for it to launch an investigation into the actions of HPD officers. Coming up on Way 31 News at 5, you'll hear what Mayor Battle had to say about that request and why he is not a fan of it. <laughs>